Word problem solving, choose the operation, lesson 6.13. When we solve problems, we need to decide which operation to use. Should we add? Should we subtract? We can use clue words to help us. There's a lot of them. Here's some of them. For addition, you'll see clue words like in all, total, sum, altogether, add, both, or plus. And in subtraction, you'll see words like fewer, less, difference, how many more, how many left, change, subtract, minus, take away, or gave away. There's even more than this, but these are the ones that you're going to be dealing with in second grade. It's important that we learn how to recognize clue words. Look at this one. If the word problem said at the end, how many did he have in all? Do you think we would add or subtract? Well, we have to look for the clue words. The clue words here are in all. We can look on our addition list and see that in all is an addition clue word. So that means we're going to add. You need to find out how many they have in all. So that means you're going to add two amounts or three amounts or more. How about this one? How many were left? Well, how many left is a clue word for subtraction. Those are clue words. And it tells us that we need to find the difference between two amounts. There was an amount. Maybe some were taken away, and they want to know how many were left. So that means we're going to subtract to find the difference. She gave five to her friend. So if she gave five to her friend, she has less, right? And if she has less, that means it's subtraction. We need to find what she's got left because she gave some away. How much did he have all together? Is that an addition or subtraction operation? If you look at our addition list, all together is a clue word for addition. This word tells us that we need to add. We're going to find out how much they have all together. How many more did she have than Emma? Well, how many more is a clue word that we need to find a difference. There were two amounts and someone had more than Emma. That means we need to subtract to find the difference in the two amounts. How many more are clue words for subtraction? How about this one? He had 10 fewer. If you saw he had 10 fewer in a word problem, do you think you would add or subtract? Well, let's look at our clue word list. Fewer is a clue word for subtraction. So we would subtract. If he had 10 fewer, we would need to take away that 10. We would need to subtract that 10, right? How about this one? Emma has 48 cents. Tala has 36 cents. How much more money does Emma have than Tala? You see the clue word right here? How much more? That means we need to find a difference between this amount and that amount. And when we have to find a difference, that's the answer in subtraction. So we need to subtract. How much more? How about this one? Dave has 37 cents and Bob has 25 cents. How much do they have all together? Our clue word here is all together. And if you look at our clue word list, the word all together is in the addition list, isn't it? So we would need to add the 37 cents and the 25 cents all together to find out how much they had in all, wouldn't we? So we would add. Okay, how about this one? Emma is going to plant 12 flowers. Tala is going to plant 14. How many are they planting? 
Well, it's important that Emma's planting 12 and Tala's planting 14, but is this adding or subtracting? It doesn't ask how many more Tala's planting than Emma. It says how many are they planting. So how many is telling us to add. We need to add Emma's and Tala's together to find out how much they're planting in all. So that's addition. Okay, we've got another one. 18 people are at a party. 12 people join them. How many people are at the party? Would we add or subtract? See the word join? This word join tells us that we're combining, we're putting the numbers together, we're joining them. So that means we're going to add them. Tim has 15 hats. Bob has eight hats. How many more hats does Tim have than Bob? How many more is clue word for subtraction? We need to compare and find the difference between 15 and 8. And that would be how many more Tim would have than Bob. So that tells us subtraction. How many more is clue words for subtraction? Dave has 12 cookies. Bob has three fewer. How many cookies does Bob have? See the word fewer? Fewer is a clue word. Do you know if it's for addition or subtraction? If you said subtraction, you're right. We would subtract 3 from 12, and that would tell us how many Bob has because he has three fewer, three less than 12. Bob ate four of his cookies. How many are left? Is that addition or subtraction? Well, it's asking how many are left, and that's a clue word for subtraction. He ate four, so we take four away. That's subtraction. We got a couple more. There are 17 ducks in a pond, nine fly away. How many are still in the pond? Is that add or subtract? Do you know? Do you see any clue words? Well, it says that nine fly away. That means they left. They're gone. So we need to find out what 17 minus nine is. So that's subtraction. That'll tell us how many are still in the pond? We find the difference between the two numbers. Tala had 12 chocolate cookies. She had six more raisin cookies than chocolate cookies. How many cookies did she have in all? Is this add or subtract? Well, actually, there's two parts to this. The first part is we have to find out what six more than 12 is. So we have to add 6 plus 12. So that's adding. Then we have to find what that number is, what that total sum is. Then we have to add it to the 12 to get the total amount of cookies she had in all. 12 plus 6 would be 18. So that means she had 18 raisin cookies because she had six more than the chocolate ones. How many did she have in all? Well, if 18 was raisin and 12 was chocolate, now we would have to add the 12 chocolate to this. See? So it's adding and then adding again. See? Two parts. Lisa found a nickel. Now she has 25 cents. How much did she have before? Would this be adding or subtracting? Well, this right here, have before, tells us that it was before she found the nickel. So that means we need to take the nickel away from the 25 cents to find out what she had before she found the nickel. See? She found the nickel, and now she has 25 cents? If we take that nickel away, we'll know what she had before. So that's subtraction. You can make a list of all the clue words that can help you 
Some of them are right here, and you can pause the video and write these down if that will help you. And you can keep these in a notebook or on a card to help you when you do word problems. So be careful when you choose your operations, all right? If you accidentally add when you were supposed to subtract, you could get a wrong answer, right? Okay, I'll see you next video. Have a great day. Bye.